In the pursuit of your dream, time is irrelevant and your age doesn't matter. It's kind of funny because the people who get lost in life, I've learned, are the people that lose their focus on what they're trying to build in their lifetime. You know, a year or two back, before I had entered Chinese medicine school and I was doing this medical program, I had just gone full-time in my business and I was thinking of moving into New York City. I wanted to have more fun, I wanted to meet more people and make some connections, and so I decided to ask a bunch of my friends that were living in New York City about what they thought New York City was like. You know, the first friend said to me, it's gonna make you a man whore, then a workaholic, then an alcoholic, and then it's gonna drain your soul and send you back to Connecticut. So I thought to myself, that's pretty interesting advice. And then I asked my second friend, and the friend said, listen, Alex, the city is just what you make it. The only people that get lost are the ones who aren't focused on some mission or some path. So if you're gonna come here to build your empire and make friends with good quality people that are genuine, you're gonna build your empire and make friends with good quality people that are genuine. And it was funny, I thought about this juxtaposition years later where I had the two friends side by side, both living in New York City. They both thought that what they were telling me was good, accurate, truthful advice. And yet one told me that it was gonna destroy me and ruin my character, and the other said, if you wanna build your empire, baby, come build your empire. And so I thought that was such an interesting thing where we get advice from people and we don't know is the person on the it's gonna ruin your life fear-based mentality or are they on the go build your dream and do whatever you wanna do mentality? What side of the spectrum are they on? And we very rarely take that into account when we listen to people's advice. You know, it's funny too, when you do the thing that you love, time also doesn't matter. I mean, it's crazy the amount of hell I've put myself through building a business for three years with a full-time 10 hour a day job and now coming into a medical school program and still having to run and grow my business. The workload is insane. But it was different before, where I had 10 hours a day at a job where I didn't really care about it, I felt like the clock was ticking and every year I was one year older but not one year closer to the life I wanted. And when I found Chinese medicine, the work that I view as my calling in life, my real passion that I wanna do for 100 years, be world renowned at, when I found that, there suddenly was no rush. Because it's almost like when you hate your life, when you hate the day to day, there is a rush because let me just get this day over with. I just want it to be done. I just wanna get out of this day and into the future, which is my better life, and I did that every day for three years, three months and 11 days before I could quit my job. With Chinese medicine now, with something that I love, the process is so exciting to you and so intriguing and naturally draws you that you can, for the first time in your life, sit down for three hours or six hours and realize that time vaporized because you were so enjoying what you were just doing. And it's so in contrast to the opposite, the way I used to live, the way so many people used to live, where time is that uh, feeling inside, where when you're doing what you like, you're like, hey, this is another day of exploration. Let's see what's going on and let me show up and just see where this goes. And the most powerful thing I think is that the process is more fun than arriving. There's nothing like a person who hates the gym, they just wanna get fit, right? Every day, it's bang out the workouts. I hate these workouts, I hate doing this, I hate doing that, I just wanna get fit. And so they hate every day for years and years and years until maybe they get there, maybe they don't get there. But the thing is, when you love the process and you love it more than the actual outcome, what's the rush, right? Like, I'm having fun, life's good, I feel good. I'm excited to do this every day. I'll do it even Saturday and Sunday because life is, this is what I want to do. You know, there is no billion dollars that rains down on me and I suddenly implode my life because this is not what I want. The people that win the billion dollar lotto and then suddenly change everything are the ones that are the most miserable and realistically they end up broke 10 years later anyway, which is impressive. But when you do what you enjoy day to day, the process becomes the reward itself. And most of all, I think, is that your age does not matter. I mean, you most often hear this from people in their 40s and their 50s. I'm just starting now. Is it too late? Is it too late to get fit? Is it too late to go after my passion? Is it too late to start painting? Is it too late to travel the world? And the answer is, of course, no. Because in the pursuit of your dream, time is irrelevant and your age doesn't matter. Who cares that your one friend, Jimmy, right when you got out of college at 22, is a lawyer now making six figures? You're not interested in law, are you? Like, you could be a priest praying to God every day and that's what you love. So why would you compare a totally different life path that apparently impresses other people 
Little do you know, Jimmy's an alcoholic anyway, already at 23. So why compare yourself when that's not even the, the life you wanna be on? If your drive is around passion and impact and enjoying your work, and you have a friend that's driving a Mercedes, makes all this money, is all flashy and popular in New York City or in LA, who really cares? Because you don't want that life anyway, right? Or maybe you do. But if you don't, why? You have a totally different path, and so your age should not matter. There only is. You are pursuing on the path that you want to be going down, or you are not. There is no arrival point. You have already arrived. So if you think that that is the life you want, then maybe you should do that. But if it's not, why are you getting upset over that? And why are you comparing yourself over that? That's not even your reality. So my message here today is simple. Stop listening to your friends. Stop listening to your family. Stop listening to society if they're not aligned with what you want and what you are trying to build in your life. In the pursuit of your dream, time is irrelevant and your age doesn't matter. So you better get yourself started. What's up guys? I hope you liked that video. That was a beast mode rant. I think I need to do more like that in the future. But if you wanna stay in touch, the best way is first of all, grab that free seven day weight loss challenge in the description. I also have a brand new program that just came out called the 21 day daily habit weight loss challenge. It's a fusion of both weight loss and fitness and personal development. And that is in the link there below, or you can go to 21habitchallenge.com.